Live from the Skip Vic Lorello rink at Belmont High School, welcome to a Belmont Media Center broadcast of Belmont Marauders Girls Varsity Hockey. Rob Gray and Dave Duffy bringing you tonight's action. Tonight we have the Belmont Marauders against Wakefield Memorial High School. Belmont stands at 6-3-1 after a four-game winning streak. Wakefield at 6-6. Six six. But this will likely be a closely matched Middlesex League contest. Right, Dave Duffy? Yeah, Rob, this will be a big game for the Marauders. They need this win. They need the points. Um, teams look evenly matched. The records you know, look pretty good with each other. So, uh... I think if Belmont comes out hot like they did against Woburn, you know, they can, can score first and apply the pressure right away. We'll, we'll hopefully good things will be for the Marauders. Belmont coming off a 5-0 win at Woburn uh, on Saturday. Uh, they also had an exciting win against Arlington the first time in many years that they, that they beat Arlington in a very close contest, Dave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first time for all these girls on the ice they beat Arlington. Uh, in the years that they're four years that the seniors have been here I think it was the first time to beat them which is a big deal for these girls shows how, how much dedication and how far this program's come we're going to have some announcements here in the rink we'll listen in for a bit Between the Wakefield Warriors and your Belmont Marauders. This competition is conducted in accordance with the rules and regulations of the MIAA and the Middlesex League. We'd like to take this opportunity to inform you that the game officials. All right, before the announcements, we'll, uh, the starting lineups are announced. We'll tell you Belmont's captains Cece Carreri, Lily Duffy, Bridget Gray, and Devin Kelleher, all seniors. Involved in tonight's contest are friendly rivals of opposing teams. Your participation reflects the essence of interscholastic athletics. To play in favor, but hard. We trust that you'll feel welcome as guests of Belmont High School. And we Wakefield has a number of seniors, Grace Severy, Ava Gustafson, and on the starting lineup, Celeste Scapatulo, Charlotte Rossicone. The starters for Wakefield. A senior, number 17, Celeste Scapatulo. Center, Celeste Scapatulo. At right wing, a senior, number two, Grace Seabury. Right wing, Grace Seabury. At left wing, a senior, number four, Ava Gustafson. Ava Gustafson. On the bench, a junior, number seven, Aaron O'Leary. On Aaron O'Leary. A senior, number 23, Aaron Leary. Captain Charlotte Rossicone. And Charlotte Rossicone. A junior, number one, Julia Welch. And now we will leave our other Sunday head coach, Ken Murphy. The goalie is Julia Welch. A senior, number 10, Captain Lily Duffy. Lily Duffy, senior captain for Belmont. And right wing, a senior, number 14, Captain Devin Kelleher. Devin Kelleher, also a senior captain. And right wing. wing. A freshman, number 6, Mackenzie Clark. Kenzie Clark, freshman. On defense, a junior, number nine, Katia Pisic. Katia Pisic, junior. On defense, a junior, number 17, Alex Townsend. Alex Townsend, the junior. And in goal, a freshman, number one, Jill Costa. And Jill Costa, freshman, number one. Michael Sheeran and Brian Check. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise to honor America? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight? Stay. 
Thanks to our rink announcer, Al Guedo, who also sings the national anthem. The teams will skate to the bench for some last-minute instructions from the coaches, and then we'll get down to some hockey action here. This is Belmont's uh, first game and first home game in a, in a while. Uh, they had a scheduled home game Monday night against Framingham, which was postponed due to snow. A couple reschedules on the Belmont schedule, but they still managed to get their record to 6-3-1. and one. Uh, currently ranked number 15 in the MIAA's power rankings, which would put them inside the playoff line. Wakefield at uh, 39 in the power rankings for Division II. What yeah, do you expect Belmont, to see here tonight, Dave? Well, Belmont started off rough this season, Rob, and then, you know, was, they ride the ship and they've doing, been doing well, so hopefully, hopefully they can keep that going today. We'll, we'll see. See how it goes. Uh, they need to come out, so like I said, they need to come out fast, fast and furious. Wakefield controls, sends it long, batted around the boards. Now Belmont has it. Turnover inside the blue line, shot. It's got to be high and wide, but gloved by the goalie. Joe Costa will have a face off in the Belmont zone. Battle in the corner, Townsend, a couple other Belmont players. Breakout pass, Clark has it down the left. She's got Kelleher with her, Duffy trailing. Duffy along the boards, keeps it in with a nice play. Sent out, but not across the blue line. Wrist shot in, wide left from Pizik, she'll change up. Lowell Rochi pinches along the boards, it gets through, Duffy's there to clean it up in the Belmont zone. Wheels, pass to Clark, she'll dump it deep. Belmont's first line will change out. Mia Taylor in the corner. Now Charlotte Wright. They took the ice along with Sadie Taylor. All on the second line. Centering pass, couldn't find anybody, deflected. Cece Carreri on on defense, the senior captain for Belmont as well. Carried into the zone. Dangerous puck in front, but Belmont controls. Little back and forth here. Not a lot of shots or action so far. Wakefield has it in the zone. Player takes a spill, pucks in the corner, wrapped around the boards by Pizik. Taylor can't get it out. Now Townsend wraps it around the boards. Wakefield skater onto it, but Belmont's able to chip it out. Sadie Taylor tries to get there. Stick lifted and controlled by Wakefield. Skated in. That's Celeste Scapitulo. Good chance there for Wakefield. Belmont clears, it'll be icing in the Belmont zone. Rob, seems Belmont's like panicking a little bit here. Like you gotta um, make some more crisp passes coming out of the zone. Just settle, settle the puck down, maybe get it deep. Take a little more control of the game. battle on the boards. CeCe Carreri wins it. Belmont almost controls the puck. Now they do. Skate it into the zone. That was Ruby Jones. Shot in deflected but wide. Also on with her Gretchen Hanley. 
and Evie Long. Set around to Jones. She'll skate it out at the blue line. Turnover. Belmont skates in with it. Lily Duffy has it in the corner. She's all alone against four Wakefield players. Looking for some help. Here comes Devin Kelleher. Can Belmont keep it in? They do. By the Zamboni door. Kelleher has it. Centering pass to Clark. Shot. Deflected. Saved by the goalie. That was an off-speed deflection. The goalie did a good job to get it out of danger. Julia Welch. Wakefield's goalie. Now Clark has it. Looking for help. Decides to send it in on net. Welch gloves it, covers it up. And we'll have a faceoff in the Wakefield zone. What have you seen so There's thus far, Dave Duffy? Nice play by Mackenzie Clark right there at the blue line right there. Uncertain of what was in front of her. There's too many red shirts. Always not a bad play to dump it on the goalie. Make the goalie handle the puck. Take the offensive faceoff. That's Duffy on the, uh, excuse me, right on the faceoff for Belmont. Wakefield controls, kept in. Wakefield can't clear. Townsend keeps it in again. Pizik has it, wheels it, center ice, looking for somebody, sends it in. The pass to Wakefield. Back from Taylor. She'll skate it in. Takes a shot. Off the stick of Aaron Leary for Wakefield. Pizik in hard. Wheels sends it behind the goal. We'll see who comes out with it here. Five players involved. It's Wakefield looking to break out, but it's a turnover to Mia Taylor, then pokes, poke checked away. CeCe Carreri has it, turns outside the zone. Nice pass there as Wright takes it in to Sadie Taylor. Slap shot, wide left, pad save, but it was outside the goal. Lola Rochi has it for Belmont. Finds Mia Taylor who attempts to dump it deep, but it gets cut off. Now Rochi again, sends it off the boards by the Wakefield bench. Carreri has it. A lot of back and forth and ping pong at the mid ice. Wakefield tapped in by Ava Gustafson deep for Wakefield. Hanley's on it for Belmont. Nice pass out. She finds Ruby Jones who skates it in with speed, takes a shot off the skate of the Wakefield defender. Now behind the net. Evie Long trying to get it. Wakefield has it in the corner. Pass out, deflected by Belmont. Wakefield will try a breakout again as Belmont changes and does Wakefield. Skated in by Grace Seabury. Looking for a shot, but the Belmont defense was in front. It got in front of the goal, luckily cleared out. Now Duffy's onto it with speed. She turns, nice centering pass. Kelleher couldn't quite get on the end of it. Still in for Belmont. Clark with the shot, but she couldn't get enough stick on it, and it goes wide left. Sent in by Townsend, dangerous in front. Belmont can't get the deflection. Kelleher again, looking for Duffy. It went into a weight field stick. Kelleher again, now Duffy on behind the net. Looks up, finds her teammate Clark, but it was a skipping puck that Clark couldn't quite get a stick on. That clearance didn't work for Belmont. But now it does Taylor, Mia Taylor, onto it down the right wing. Looking for help, she's all alone. Sadie Taylor gets in, but Wakefield was there to send it out. CeCe Carreri looks to send it deep, it's off a skate. Rochi goes up against Ray Seaver, he can't quite get it by her. Gets back in the battle with her skate. Now dump behind the Belmont goal. Rochi has it, reverses field. The breakout doesn't quite work. Now Belmont's out. 
Roach will skate it in. We'll see if she shoots here. No, she's looking for Taylor. Chance for a shot. Good defense by Maddie DeFeo for Wakefield to stop Taylor from getting a shot off, covered up by Wakefield goalie Julia Welch. It was a nice rush by Lola Roach there, taking the ice, has the ice in front of her. She uses it, skates it up, makes a nice pass over, just couldn't get the shot off. Sadie Taylor has it on the turnover. Sends it deep. Charlotte Wright back to Sadie Taylor. She looks up to Wright. Mia Taylor's in front. Sadie Taylor has it. Dumps it back to Alex Townsend. She'll shoot the wrister wide right. Good chance for Belmont. Now Pizik pinches up. It's back in the corner. Can Belmont pin them in? They do. Controlled by Belmont, the pass back to the point, intercepted in the middle. Good stick check by Pizik there. She wins it, sends it in deep and off the netting. And we'll have a face off in the Wakefield zone as Belmont changes up, as do, uh, as do the Warriors. Nice pinching by the defense there. Um, that was a great lead on the defense on the right side to make that play, keep that puck in the zone. I think the rest may have got this one wrong. Well, that was definitely deflected off a weak foot player. So the faceoff is actually outside in the neutral zone. Belmont had it in the Wakefield zone briefly. Now sent in long and it deflected off Hanley, so it's going to be offside. We'll have a faceoff in the same spot. Some nice accuracy by CC Carrieri there hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> Long on the faceoff for Belmont. Controlled by Wakefield, sent out. Carreri has it. Now to Hanley, she'll shoot. She does. Loved nice. by Julia Welch for the save. Nice play there, just to get the shot a little lower, maybe look for a rebound. He had a little three-on-three -three action going into that play. Shooting it high like that, the goalie will glove that all day long. But nice play getting the puck to the net. Face-off controlled by Wakefield, sent around the boards. Rochi's there, cuts it off, keeps it in. Centering pass, deflected onto a Wakefield stick. One-on-one -on -one battle. Rochi against Rory McNeil. Now scuffed around in the corner by multiple players. Back to the blue line, shot in, blocked. Off long skate. Belmont tries to clear, can't. Now they will. As Hanley skates it out. Rochi collects it. She looks up. Dumps it in deep. Belmont's due for a change. Duffy's there. But she's about one on five against Wakefield. Who clears the zone. Now Townsend. Clark will tag up. Kelleher. Tries to win it, can't. And the puck deflects out into the Wakefield bench for a faceoff. Looks like Belmont's pick up pace a little here, Rob. It's good. A lot of offensive time here. Haven't spent too much time down the defensive zone. So we keep this pace up, keep suffocating, and maybe we can bury one. I should add, because I didn't have it indicated before, the captains for Wakefield, Matty DeFeo, Ava Gustafson, Fiona Racine, Celeste. Scott Petulo and Charlotte Rossicone. Kelleher has it in front. Wakefield's able to scoop it away from her. Now they rush out. It's a one on two. The move through by Grace Seabury leaves the puck behind the net. Wakefield has it. Back to the point. Now Belmont, sent out by Duffy. Kelleher trying to win the race. Wakefield gets it out. Kelleher's gonna change. Belmont resets as Rochi sends it in deep in the second line for Belmont. will try and keep this in the zone and maybe get some shots. Nice read by the D there, stepping up. That was Theomanovich for Belmont, sending it in deep. 
the freshman defender. It's out of the zone again, sent in deep by Monovich. Belmont tags. Taylor tries to win it behind the net. She can't. The puck squirts out. Monovich to Mia Taylor. It gets through to Wakefield. Wakefield defender reverses course. Mia Taylor to Ruby Jones. Looks for Sadie Taylor. Couldn't quite find her stick. Rochi to Monovich. She sends it out to Clark, but controlled by Wakefield. Excuse me, to Wright, but controlled by Wakefield. Wakefield escapes again. Long has it. Good four check by Wakefield. Now Belmont's got it. But can't gain the entry. Turnover. Long has it. Hey, shoot that right there. She had the opportunity to get that puck right on that. Unselfish tried to find a teammate to pass it, but uh, nobody was was home. Nice to get that puck on net and look for the rebound. Wakefield's goalie, Julia Welch, not really tested by Belmont thus far. A few, few shots. Belmont keeps it in. She was tested there, Julia Welch, and she came up with a puck. A nice save, those bouncing pucks that are off speed are always tough. Be nice to get one here, Rob. Two, two minutes and five seconds left in this first period. We spent a lot of offensive zone time here. It'd be nice to have them rewarded with one. You heard the time. It's 0-0 in the first period. Belmont Marauders against the Wakefield Warriors. The puck scoots out. Townsend looks up. She'll send it in. Behind the net. Wakefield will try and clear. Belmont will try and intercept. It's back to Townsend. Shot. It's wide right. On the wrister, Devin Keller has it by the Zamboni doors. Pass in. Nice shot. The deflection, I think, from Lily Duffy. Almost had the goalie fooled. But she was able to get a stick on it and clear it. Same shot from Townsend again. It's wide right. This time Wakefield clears. Townsend skates back to get it. She does. Whips it around the boards for Clark. Can she chip it out? She does. Dumped in deep by Celeste Scapatulo. Cleaned up by Townsend. As we approach one minute left in the first period. There's the announcement in this tie game. 0-0. Wakefield skates out. Both teams would like to score here in the final second shot. High and over the goal by about a foot from Rory McNeil. Now out to Sadie Taylor. She's in, Belmont's on, oh. I almost said Belmont's on side and they weren't. They were offside, I wasn't sure that was a close one and we'll have a face off outside the Belmont zone with 38 seconds remaining here in the first period. Excuse me, outside the Wakefield zone. Yeah, there was no hand up, I know that, that, was a, that was a funny one, I've seen it. Took a little bit to call that. I thought maybe Belmont got away with it, but they didn't. Carreri sends it deep off a of skate, though. Now Rochi. Mia Taylor looking for her sister, Sadie Taylor. Can't control. Loose puck in the neutral zone. Sent on goal by Carreri. Sticked out by Welch to the defender. They look to clear with 15 seconds remaining. Right battles along the wall. Wakefield has it. Sends it long. Carreri has it now. As Belmont tags up, she sends it in to Sadie Taylor. Charlotte Wright has it. Can't get a shot off. Shot off before the buzzer and time expires in the first period. With the score, Belmont zero. Wakefield zero. We played one period here. And the game's 0-0. I'm Rob Gray along with Dave Duffy. 
What have we seen so far, Dave Duffy, and what should we expect in the second period? Well, hopefully the Marauders will come up with the same energy they had the first period. They had a lot of offensive zone time, a lot of shots, a lot of pucks on net. They were dumping the puck in, for the most part, pretty well. If they had odd man rushes, a couple times they didn't, but for the most part, they get the puck deep, making the goalie handle the puck. You know, uh, there's some speed on this Wakefield team. You know, the, the um, breaking up the side, giving our D a hard time sometimes when they're coming down. So anything can happen again. It's a dangerous game, Rob. The, the Mirage got to put a few in the net right away. This is the first and only contest between these two teams this season. Wakefield stands at 6-6. Six and six. Belmont 6-3-1. Six, and one. As the Warriors control the faceoff and look to get... A scoring chance early in this period on the fresh ice. Now Belmont controls it. Long pass to Devin Kelleher, the senior captain. Wakefield wins it. Looks to clear the zone. They will. Alex Townsend on the puck for Belmont. Can't send it in deep. Another pass over to Kelleher. She controls it. Nifty little move through the middle. She weaves, but... A stick from a Belmont from a Warriors defender stopped her chance to get a shot covered up by the goalie Julia Welch for a faceoff in the Warriors zone as Belmont's second line skates onto the ice. Charlotte Wright on the faceoff for Belmont, along with Mia Taylor and Sadie Taylor, Rochi and Carreri for Belmont on defense. Pasta in goal. Chance in front for Belmont. The shot from Wright. Deflected behind the goal. Carreri almost keeps it in. She does. Wrists it from the point. Stick save. Julia Welch. The centering pass in front from Mia Taylor. Hops up in the air and gloved by Welch for another faceoff. Hey, Rob, the Belmont defensemen are doing a really great job of knowing when to pinch in and appropriately keeping the puck in the zone. It's that situation right there could have very easily backed off and had an offensive rush the other way. But CC knew when to pitch in and kept the puck in a very good play. Belmont controls the pace, face off, puck behind the net. Pizik for Belmont. Skated out by Mia Taylor into the center, but onto a Wakefield stick. Wakefield looks to clear. They do, but it'll be icing. And we'll have another face-off. In the Warrior zone. And another chance for Belmont to score. We're just a few minutes into the second period. Here from Belmont High School, 13-24 remaining in this tied contest, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, that's their third line out there. It's been so productive this year, Rob. They've been all over other, other teams and really been really productive for this Belmont squad. Evie Long back to Alex Townsend. She shoots high off the glass. Pizik pinches in, wins it. Ruby Jones onto the puck. But Celeste Scottapuo for Wakefield makes the, st the steal. Now turnover to Hanley for Belmont. She shoots. Glove save high by Julia Welch. A lot of high shots, Rob. If they can get the shots a little lower, you have more, more chances of rebounds, even more chances of going right in the net. If Belmont has to look for those rebounds, uh, the wide and high shots don't produce them. Face off from Belmont, back to the point. Rochi for the shot, it's blocked. Chance for a breakout for Wakefield, but Rochi regains control briefly. Now over to Wakefield. Belmont will clear the zone as Wakefield tags. Chance for Jones, but it's just battered around the neutral zone for a while. Nice pass here as Belmont's on the change. Hanley Entrant centers it, but nobody's home. Rochi looks up. Belmont sends it in deep. We've got our first line on, Duffy, Kelleher, and Clark. Duffy on the forecheck, can't quite come out with it. Rochi. Up on the boards. Belmont can't keep it in. That puck goes long. Tap to the side. And not quite out. Duffy and Clark working over against the boards. 
Now out, Wakefield puts on the brakes. Turnover. Duffy looks up for Kelleher, she finds her. Kelleher in. Clark's onto it. But more red jerseys than white in there. As Wakefield comes back with a one on three, that's Fiona Racine. Looking for a teammate, back to the point to Charlotte Rossicone. She shoots. It was high left and off the glove of Costa. Out to Kelleher, past the red line. She sends it deep, it's time for a change for Belmont. Little confusion there. Now they've got it in. Shot from Mia Taylor, bouncing in gloves by Julia Welch. That was a nice play by getting that puck on the net. Really didn't have a lot of options there. Her sister was too close to her to dish the puck over, so it was a nice play to get that puck in on the goalie and make the goalie handle it. It'll be right on the faceoff for Belmont. Townsend and Pizik on defense. That's Pizik now, she sends it on net. Stick to the side by Welch into the corner. Centering pass from Belmont. Now controlled behind the net. Taylor has it. Looks up. Centers it in front. Good chance. Wright couldn't get the shot off. She was falling backwards. Now a roller in. Sticked out. Mia Taylor has it. To Sadie Taylor. Deep into the corner. Wakefield chips it out, one on one. The Wakefield skater gets around, nice move. And it scoots through the pads, into the goal. Rochi had her defense. The Wakefield player didn't have much lever leverage, but somehow it got through into the goal and Belmont finds itself trailing. The Wakefield Warriors 1-0 with 10.09 remaining in the second period. Yeah, she just didn't get her stick down. It went right through their pads there. Didn't even look like much of a shot, but what you can do about that. But this, this is a dangerous game, Rob. Belmont's been carrying the play the whole time, and a little play like that, and all of a sudden, Wakefield's a ton of momentum. It's going to be hard to rein that in. And in fact, Wakefield controls now. They skated in another chance shot on goal. It's wide left. Centering pass blocked by Long. Out to Jones. Save. Belmont. Dangerous play there again as Wakefield almost looked to add to the play. Sorry, I was distracted by the rink announcement. That Wakefield goal was number two. Grace Seabury with the asset assist to Celeste Scapatulo. They're both seniors, and they've put their Warrior team ahead here. Wakefield looks to have a little skip in their step as they keep the puck in the Belmont zone for the longest stretch yet tonight. Belmont changes out. Rochi with a nice little move. She'll skate it out. Looks long for Kelleher, but just couldn't quite find her. Good idea, it goes for an icing and a face-off in the Belmont zone. Let's hope Belmont just takes a minute and hits the reset button here, Rob. And um, starts playing what they were playing before. They're a little panicky on that last few minutes after the goal. And uh, unfortunately, Wakefield has a lot of momentum going on there. Monovich and Pizik on for Belmont on defense. Here's a chance for a breakout. That's Clark to Duffy. Duffy has it, she shoots, pad save by Julia Welch, nice save there, good opportunity for Belmont, probably the best tonight. You have to give the goalie credit for that save, as Wakefield comes back strong, that's Scott Petulo who just had the assist, she loses it, now Belmont on the counterattack. again, all of a sudden we've got Rock'em Sock'em action here at the skip, as both teams go end to end. But Belmont changes and that ed ends the frenzy a little bit. They'll look to collect their thoughts. 
They don't want Wakefield to score again. Sadie Taylor, nice move in and on. She deeks, she shoots, what a save by Julia Welch as she got the pads down. As Sadie Taylor tried to go five hole and failed, two great chances for Belmont to score, but they're not on the board. It's only the Wakefield Warriors at this point. Belmont looking to come back. Wakefield looking to expand on the momentum they got from the goal. Chipped out, we've got a two on one. Wright hustles back, nice play to stop Rico. that. Mia Taylor, open chance. But Fiona Racine got back to cut her off before she could get to the goalie. Nice play. Now Rochi, she shoots wide right. Monovich working on the boards. Wakefield comes out with it. Centering pass taken by Wright. Wright's done a good job getting back here to stop a couple Wakefield attacks. The sophomore center. Rochi has it, looking for Long. It goes through the Maddie DeFeo for Wakefield. Hanley keeps it in, coming off the bench. Rochi, can she get there at the blue line? She does, sends it deep. The wraparound, Hanley, centering pass, just off the side of the goal. And Belmont looks to open the attack again. It's Ruby Jones down the wing, it's one on two. Wakefield gets it in the corner, but now Jones stays with it. Almost came out with it. The clearing wrist shot, battle at the blue line. Wakefield gets it out, now Long sends it in. Jones, Long, and Hanley on for Belmont. Chance for a shot here, she does. Gretchen Hanley with a nice shot behind the goalie. I think the goalie got a piece of it and it just went wide left. Belmont's third scoring opportunity with six minutes remaining here in the second period. They trail and they want to get back. Shot blocked. Nice shot from Duffy. It was going to be on goal, but it was blocked by the Wakefield defender. Now Carreri, she shoots. It's high, left and above the goal. A lot of energy from Belmont here, keeping it in. Dangerous puck across. Duffy wheels on it. She's got two defenders. Can't turn to get the shot off. Wakefield breaks out. Pass into the zone, sent deep. Lola Rochi weaves it out. She finds Devin Kelleher up the right-hand wing, skates it into the zone. She's all alone looking for help as the change comes on. The centering pass. Deflected by the goalie into a Wakefield defender. They can't clear the zone, it's in. Now Wakefield's out. Sort of a two on one, but a couple Belmont skaters just a step behind, so not too dangerous there. Pizik has it, skates it up, skates it into the zone. She'll have one, shoots it low. Pad save from Welch. Now out, but not clearing the zone. Sent in by Belmont. I think they think it came out and they tagged the Belmont forwards. Now Sadie Taylor has it alone in the corner. Looks up, too late. The Wakefield defender got a stick on it before she could do what she, Taylor could do what she wanted to in the neutral zone. Sent in by Pizik. Wakefield controls. Slapper out is deflected and now goes out as Jones tries to get it. Excuse me, that's right. Backhanded, looking for Taylor, controlled by Wakefield. Good move by the Wakefield player there. She's up against two Belmont skaters and can't get through. That was Fiona Racine, she collects it again, she shoots, pad save by Joe Costa, off to the right, puck still loose. Shot from Wakefield, glove save. She couldn't squeeze it. The shot from Rory McNeil. Does a two on two battle against the boards behind the Belmont net. It comes out, Taylor's on it. She chips it, but Wakefield comes out with it. Shot off the side of the net. 
Wakefield has it behind the goal with just three minutes remaining. Back to the point. The shot in is kicked away by Wright. Now finally out of the zone. Taylor is onto it. Looks for her sister Mia Taylor. Oh, sides there. But Wakefield clears and controls as Belmont gets some new skaters on the ice. Centering pass across. Racine couldn't get a handle on it. Townsend looks to shoot it out. It's blocked by a skate. Good battle by Wakefield in the corner to keep it. Centering pass, backhand, save. Jones has it. Wipe out there. Shot in from Towns in wide right. Jones has it in the corner. Centering pass blocked, I think by Julia Welch. The goalie for Wakefield, she's done a nice job here tonight. That's Charlotte Rossicone who sends it in deep for Wakefield. Grace Seabury on it. Cleared out, Ruby Jones has it. Met by a bunch of Wakefield skaters. Here comes Scott Petullo, she shoots. It's high, about a foot over the goal, off the glass. Wakefield still has it in the corner as we approach one minute remaining here in the second period. Now it's Duffy skating out with speed past the red line. She's got Kelleher with her, but Wakefield defenders back. Nice pass to Kelleher. She shoots, it's blocked. Kept in the zone, now out. Carreri on it, she'll send it deep. Kelleher crashes on the puck. One minute to play in the period. One minute. There's the announcement. One minute left as Belmont trails 1-0 here in the second period. Gets the Wakefield Warriors. Shot in. Pad save from Julia Welch. Belmont tries to keep it in. Rochi sends it in. Dangerous puck. Clark has it. Looks up. Passes behind the net to Keller. Centering pass to Duffy. Nice shot. But she was challenged by the Wakefield defender. Couldn't quite get it on net with the deflection. We've got 30 seconds left. Shot blocked by Rochi. Nice block. And Belmont has a chance here. 2v2. Duffy sends it on net. Save. Julia Welch. A juicy rebound that Belmont couldn't quite get on. The clock ticks down. It's in the zone. Wakefield breaks out. We've only got five seconds left in this second period. That should do it. As the buzzer sounds and Belmont finds itself after being tied 0-0 at the end of one, trailing. I'm Rob Gray along with Dave Duffy bringing you the action as the Marauders trail 1-0 to the Wakefield Warriors entering the third period. It was 0-0 at the end of one. Belmont gave up a goal in the second, and despite many chances to score, couldn't do it. What's your analysis so far, Dave Duffy? Well, the Wakefield goalie has proven to be a hard goalie to get some pucks past. Because uh, she made a couple point blank, nice left pad saves on these girls. And they get a half, they just get, just keep pounding the net, keep pounding the net, keep getting pucks there, look for the rebounds, crash the net, and they got to get some pucks to the net. Looks like we have a goalie change here, Rob, in the third also for the Marauders. Yeah, Wakefield's goalie is Julia Welch, the junior. She's made a lot of big saves tonight. Now coming in for Belmont, they have a goalie change. It's the senior captain, Bridget Gray, number 30. As Wakefield has a chance right off the bat, but poked away by Belmont. Duffy skates it out and into the zone. Now the freshman, Mackenzie Clark, joins senior captain Duffy. They keep it in. Senior captain Devin Keller also on this Belmont first line. On defense for Belmont, Alex Townsend, Katya Pizik. There's a real battle on the boards here. There's a Wakefield player on the ground. Duffy's in there. It's a wrestling match. Now Townsend's in. She chips it out. Clark has it. She'll shoot. Blocked by Wakefield. Now Duffy 
Sends it across the fresh ice. Nice. To Clark, she shoots, she scores. It's in the right side of the net. Duffy to Clark and Belmont's on the board. They tie it up 1-1. One, one. Less than one minute into this third period. That has to feel good after a terrible second period for the Marauders. Yeah, now they're back, they're back in it now, Rob. So if he's getting that puck to net. Kind of a strange play here on the boards. The puck was just laying there for, it seemed like, 20 to 30 seconds. Not sure why they didn't blow the whistle, but kind of glad he didn't at this point. We were blocked up from the action, too. I know you couldn't really see it on the camera, but there were four or five players in a scrum along the boards. Townsend chips it out. Duffy controls it. A great little pass to Clark and the one-timer in the right side. So we're back to even here in the third period. Important for Belmont. This is a lead game. They've won four in a row, and they'd like to come out with a win here. Sadie Taylor into the zone. Skates it in. Great pass across. Love to have seen her kept her feet moving and cut towards the net, Rob. It just drew that defenseman towards her. That would have been, a, and then she would, could have dished it over at that point. If not, just let it rip. She was looking for her sister, Mia Taylor, and Taylor almost had it in. Wakefield shot wide right. There's the rink announcement. We already brought it to you, but it's Clark from Duffy, 54 seconds into this third period. As Belmont looks to clear, they can't. Shot blocked. Player loses her stick. Now Belmont has it. Sadie Taylor sends it deep as Belmont will change up in their third line. Skates on. Ruby Jones on the forecheck. Can't quite get there. Sent long, and it would have gone for icing, but intercepted by Townsend. She sends it long and now icing the other way. And we'll have a face-off in the Belmont zone in this 1-1 match, 12-31 remaining here in the third between Belmont and Wakefield. Yeah, it's a it's, um, big, big defensive zone face-off right here for the Mirage. Hopefully you can gain possession of the puck and just get a nice breakout and move back in the O zone. Evie Long on the face-off for Belmont. She controls it. Sent around the boards. Hanley scoops it out to Ruby Jones. Looks to send it deep, can't quite. Out from Wakefield. Townsend in strong and sends it deep. Evie Long on the forecheck. Backhand move around her, but intercepted by Hanley, still in the zone. Shoots blocked, sticked by the goalie, loose in front. Now into the corner, back to Townsend. She winds up, nope, she'll send it in deep. Nice pass along the boards. Good chance for a centering pass, but couldn't find a Belmont stick. Whipped around by Townsend to Pizik. To Clark, as Belmont's first line is back on here. They'll look to make it two to one. Townsend, Devin Kelleher, battle in the neutral zone. Duffy was in, now to Clark. Has in the corner, look to send it back, but Wakefield's on it. Ferrari has it, wrists it in, just wide, almost deflected towards the goal. Rochi keeps it in. Now Wakefield skates out three on three. That's Charlotte Rossicone, nice move in. Ray makes the save, her first save of the night as she just came in in the third period. Rossicone made a nifty little move around, but the shot was from a tough angle and Gray had it closed down. Face off in the Belmont zone, that's right. And the face-off for Belmont. Gianna Sc Scapatulo sends it out. The 
Wakefield, nice move. Shot, Gray makes the save. That shot from Celeste Capitulo, she was loose on the right. Had a good shot on goal with nothing in front, but Gray saw it all the way. Face off in the Belmont zone. A few chances for Wakefield here, Dave, in the last couple minutes. Yes, there is, Rob. They've seen it turned up the, their energy a little bit here. Wakefield trying to get the lead back. They led 1-0, then Belmont tied it up less than a minute into this third period. Belmont controls now. Dangerous puck in front kept in. Nice play by Pizik to keep it in. Wakefield gets through. That's Rosa Cohn. She's in alone. Good job getting back by Pizik to prevent the shot from getting off. Now a shot. Loose in front is the Wakefield skater saved by Gray. Sent around the boards. Good pressure from Wakefield. Right in the corner. Sent out Taylor. Sadie Taylor finds her sister Mia Taylor. Tries to weave through but can't. Yeah, Rob, they're gonna go back to their game plan that first, first and second period. They were getting the pucks deep when they had automated rushes. And I think they're, they're trying to be a little too crafty now. Carrying the puck a little too much. Hanley on the forecheck. Gets knocked down like a bowling pin by her teammate. Wakefield skates in. Shot blocked by Rochi. Wakefield work hard, hard behind the net, but it comes out to Ruby Jones. She skates on, Belmont has two in the zone, but reversed by Wakefield. Now they break out. Rory McNeil, held up by the Belmont defender. Duffy's on, skates behind the net. She still has it around the boards, off the stanchion, but right back to Duffy. She'll go one on two against Wakefield. Cuts in, nice move, backhander. Goalie doesn't know where it is, but she made the save. It comes out. Nice move by Duffy. She was all alone. Did her best to get something in the goal and almost did. Big change for Wakefield going on as Belmont sends it out. The outlet pass to Clark. She backhands it in. Kelleher in to meet the Wakefield skater. But a good move by. Coming out with speed is Wakefield. But good stick work there by the freshman Theomanovich to send it back into the Wakefield zone. Clark has it in the corner. Sent around by Wakefield. Kelleher trying to slow down the attack. That's Scott Petulo again. Celeste Scott Petulo. Looks like we've got some sisters on the Wakefield team here, just like Belmont does. Skate it out. Pizik for Belmont, looks up. Finds Mia Taylor, but too close to the defender. Now Sadie Taylor, she shoots blocked by Aaron Leary for Wakefield. That would have been on goal. Taylor on the puck again. Controls, looking, she'll shoot. Save, nice Julia play. Welch. Nice play by Sadie Taylor there to control that puck and realize no one's on her. Keep your, she kept her feet moving, coming out of the corner and created an opportunity for herself. Right on the face off for Belmont. Back to Sadie Taylor, she shoots the shot blocked. Fight in the corner. Right, back to Rochi, shoots, blocked. Sticked away from the goalie, but not away. Was still loose, now away. Rochi jumped in, she got by her, but cleaned up by the senior captain, Cece Carreria. Nice pass in to Charlotte Wright. She wheels behind the net, looking for a player, goes down. Sadie Taylor has it. Tamia Taylor. Wakefield clears the zone. Good battle by Rochi. Rochi again, but Wakefield comes out with it. 
Mia Taylor sends it deep, no icing signals. Belmont changes up, long on the forecheck, in fast for Belmont. Breaks it up and it is a turnover. Ruby Jones now has it, centering pass, loose puck. Hanley wheels, shoots, blocked. Wakefield has it. Sent long for icing by Wakefield. We'll have a face off in the Wakefield zone. It's a 1-1 game. A nail biter with 521 remaining. Probably wasn't expected to be. Given the MIA rankings, uh, Belmont ranked pretty far ahead of Wakefield, but Wakefield has acquitted themselves well tonight, Dave Duffy. Yes, they did, Rob. They definitely gave Belmont more than they can handle, for sure. I think they were definitely underestimating them. Kelleher, shot, save. Welch. It pops in the air, and Welch will glove it just to be safe. We'll have another Belmont faceoff. Belmont's first line is on. This is the line that just scored a goal to get Belmont back in this game at the beginning of the third period. Duffy in the corner, has it by the Zamboni doors. Still has it, looking for a teammate. Strong arm by the Wakefield defender who tries to send it out, but it's off Devin Kelleher's leg. Now she's into the corner and controls it. Looks for the pass, but can't quite find Duffy. Duffy on. Now Kelleher, Clark circling in front. Ready for the pass if Belmont can get it to her. Duffy back in, doing a good job of keeping it in here. Belmont Townsend steps up. She sends it in again. Glove down. Could have been a hand pass, but no call. This is sent long and it's on goal. So Bridget Gray will swat it away. No icing and Belmont will skate it out and look to set it up. We're under five minutes here in the third period from the Skip Viglarolo rink. Belmont skates it in. Shot, wide left. That was Mia Taylor. Sent out by Wakefield, Rochi has it. Pass to Sadie Taylor. Inside the blue line, she'll shoot. It's blocked by Aaron Leary. Taylor has it again behind the goal. Now Ava Gustafson for Wakefield. She sends it long for icing. And another chance for Belmont in the Wakefield zone. 3.50 left in the game, Rob. See what, uh, which team has more in the tank. Right on the faceoff for Belmont. Townsend and Pizik on defense, pucks sent in. This is Townsend, sends it behind the goal to Mia Taylor, tries to center it, but off the back of the net. Belmont still has it. Sadie Taylor met by two defenders. Now Mia Taylor backhands it in, dangerous puck. Townsend shoots it. It was loose in front, but nobody could direct it to the goal. Sadie Taylor shoots. Glove save by Julia Welch. She has the glove right-handed, which is unusual for a goalie. And she used it and covered it up and made a nice save there on the Sadie Taylor shot. Good nice chance for Belmont. Some, it'd be nice to have some white shirts there for that rebound right after that shot. Sent long, this is gonna be icing. And we'll reset back in the same. 3-10 three, three left in the game, Rob. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Belmont can do. They've got their third line on now. They're looking to score. Not much time left to do it. Wakefield breaks out, one player against three, and the odds pan out as Belmont intercepts the puck, but it's sent deep and it's gonna go for icing and a faceoff in the Belmont zone with 2.53 remaining in the contest. It's a 1-1 tie, it's anybody's game. Carreri and Rochi for Belmont on D. Belmont's first line is sent out, Duffy at center. Kelleher and Clark. Wakefield has it. 
pass to the blue line, doesn't work. Skated out by Kelleher, she tries to jump through. Good defense from Gianna Scapatulo for Wakefield, but Belmont keeps it in, Duffy has it. Behind the net, great pass, shot from Kelleher and a save by Julia Welch. Nice little give and go right there. Great play by Lola Rochi. Jumping up in the plate, keeping that puck in the zone. Passing it down, a little nice give and go with Duffy and Keller. Rochi shoots. In the corner, great pass to Kelleher. She shoots, glove save. Julia Welch, Belmont applying pressure. But nothing in the back of the net yet. First line stays on, Kelleher on the faceoff. Into the corner, Wakefield has it. Clark on the forecheck. Presses the puck against the board, looking for help. It comes, Kelleher. Gets out of the Belmont zone, backhanded by Townsend to Pizik, to Kelleher, now Duffy in the middle, weaves through. One on two, sent in by Clark. But Belmont can't get a shot on goal. Little ping pong in the neutral zone as Belmont changes up. Pizik has it, skates. Backhands, finds Sadie Taylor, skates in. Intercepted by two Wakefield players. Wakefield gets it out, Belmont tags. Townsend has it. Now Wright looks to skate it in, sends it deep instead around the boards. It jumps out to the goalie, Taylor on the four check. As we approach one minute left in this contest, Sent long, but deflected, no icing. Gray's all alone with a Wakefield player back there. She has it behind the net, she comes around. Dangerous play in front. Belmont got caught a little bit short there on defense. Centering pass blocked, Wakefield still has it in the corner. Shot, turns, deflected wide of the goal. Now Belmont will clear. Taylor chipped it. But it's gonna be icing. There's 41.9 seconds remaining in this 1-1 game. Wakefield against Belmont. Wakefield in red, Belmont in white. We have a face-off in the Belmont zone. Celeste Scapatula on the draw for Wakefield. It's out of the zone, the referee signals icing and we'll do it all over again with 34.7 seconds left. It's Celeste Capitola again on the face off for Wakefield. That was, it's Duffy for Belmont behind the net. Wakefield has it. Whipped around the boards. Clark tries to chip it out, she does. 19 seconds left. Duffy, nice play, is still in the zone behind her. She doesn't quite see it. The referee blows the whistle and signals the face off in the neutral zone. 13.7 seconds, Rob. Duffy on the faceoff for Belmont. Townsend has it. Now on a Wakefield stick. Two on one, shot. Gray makes the save. Sticked out, still in the zone. Turn, shoots, the buzzer sounds. So Belmont will skate uh, Gray and goal, the senior captain. She only came in to start the third period with Belmont. Belmont selected to go with three. Trailing one nothing. Belmont needs another skater. They've got Wright, Sadie Taylor, Lola Rochi, and Mia Taylor. Uh, for Wakefield, Gianna Scapatulo. Chance for a shot. Wide right from Taylor. 
Breakout, Wakefield player one on one. Bridget Gray comes out to meet her. Digs, great save by Gray. Nobody covers it up. Wakefield had a breakaway. Gray made the save. It's now looped in. It's still loose. Belmont tries to collect itself. Taylor will clear the zone. Sadie Taylor finds Mia Taylor. Wakefield almost ended it there. Now Sadie Taylor looks to shot, save. Another loose puck in action packed. First minute of overtime here. Not even a minute. Sadie Taylor has it in the corner. Set back to the point for Belmont. Now Rochi has a chance to shoot. She does. Blocked. I think it was a save by the goalie, but it may have been blocked in front. Sent out by Wakefield. They've got a loose skater again. Rochi goes to intercept. She does. Nice play from Rochi to stop Grace Seabury. I think it was Seabury who had that last breakaway that was saved by the Belmont goalie, Bridget Gray. It is, Rob, yeah. The see who's sending a player wide at all times. It's out to Rory McNeil. She tries to shoot. Blocked by Alex Townsend for Belmont. Duffy now on the ice. Clark. And also Long. Wakefield controls. Dangerous play in front. Centering pass. Shot saved by Gray. Another shot saved by Gray. No whistles and some crazy action here thus far, Dave Duffy, as Devin Kelleher tries to get it in. Blocked by Wakefield, Lola Rochi's back. Sends it along the boards, no icing. Belmont probably would have liked an icing whistle there to collect themselves. As Wakefield has had some good chances. That's a turnover, but Wright can't quite handle it. Sadie Taylor has it. Rochi, Kelleher. Has Taylor with her, shoots. Rebound! Taylor puts the rebound. the rebound in the back of the net. The shot from Kelleher. Belmont wins in sudden death overtime. Crashing the net, Rob, there. Shooting the puck net.